Hey guys, what's going on? Jeremy LaFrance with Backstage Entertainment. Sitting here with a couple guys from American Head Charge. Guys, what's going on? <laughs> you guys are, I mean, on the head to head tour, number three. I mean, what's the tour been like so far? It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot of head. Two head. <clears throat> <laughs> Lots of head. Three head, four head. A lot of them. More. That's right. Five head. Before we get into the interview too far, let's kind of introduce you guys and then <laughs> what you guys do in the band as well. I'm Carmine. I play guitar. Okay. Sorry. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> I'm Chris. I play guitar. Chris. <laughs> and who's, who do we got over here? Vinny. Vinny. Oh, Vinny. Vinny. Vinny, what's up? What's up? What Vinny. do you want to say? Vinny. Speak in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Boy. First time he's done that. Nice. I swear he has got a gentle bite. He's really hey, he's good. That that would make for a good, uh, good little fit there. <laughs> all right, American Head Charge, a unique name. You guys kind of know the meaning behind it and all that kind of stuff and how it came into play. It's just three words that our bass player put together. And... Band name. There yeah. you go. Huh? So no, no real unique story, just kind of that's, came together one day. Huh? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I mean, talk about too. You guys kind of decided to take a break in 2009. Came back in 2011. What was kind of deciding factors in kind of taking the break? Then? Gas. Gas prices. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Speaking of, I can gas prices. It's the economy and everything. No, we just you know we all had personal stuff going on. Right. That, that uh, we, were, we had to work out before we could this thing back together. So. Okay. so what's really, I mean, since you guys are coming back now, you're working on a new project, you're kind of explaining to the fans out there what's coming out for you guys. we got a new single coming out called Sugars of Sunday that's going to be released for free. Uh, someday. Someday. Okay. On, um, just on the internet. It's just probably this week. Uh, just got mastered. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, we recorded three, like, kind of rough... Like live versions of some new material we're working on, just basically to give it to fans to, to kind of show some appreciation and give them something to listen to. It's been so long. We got, we got pretty surprised by the response. You know, we, yeah. wanted, we wanted people to know yeah. that, that we were serious when we came back. So we actually did that on a day off in Cleveland on one of our like 10 day runs. So there's three new songs coming out and a Patti Smith cover. Um, it's being mixed right now, so okay. soon we can get it out. Something to chew on while we're working yeah. on an actual record. Right there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's it's not going to be, like, super high production like the rest of the records, but it's just kind of like, you know, something to something to kind of listen to while you while they wait. Yeah. Well, and I'm sure taking your time a little bit, you have more fun with it. You can really put out what you want to do and you're not We've got a lot. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna do another record and hopefully be able to get in the fall probably after this tour we'll start getting in the studio and working out, you know, a, a, a better offering, a real offering, and then uh, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> yep, there you go. Uh, let's talk about when we talked a little bit about the break here that you guys had. Along with uh, about every band goes through this is like the member changes and stuff like that. I mean, we'll, Really, how does that kind of affect the band? Because you guys have, what is it, how many are in the band right now? Six people. Six people, with that many. I mean, how, what's, how does it really affect the band when you're going through like the member changes and stuff, like any band does? Though? Seating. Okay. Seating. Less seating, more seating. I mean, I, the way I look at it, I think the more time a group as a whole has to play together, the more they get to know each other, how each other plays. And it seems like it's when units together, you know, it, it can become a, you know, a machine, right. a mobile machine. So, you know, sometimes you got these changes coming up. Because we got Sin on board for this year for doing recording and, and, and playing with us and stuff. He's doing ministry right now, but he's totally down for coming back. And, you know, and so we got Christian right now doing right. a fabulous job. And so you get into get ready to prepare for a tour and it's a little shaky at first because you're like, no, oh, this is how the part goes. Yeah. And, you know, raise a few blisters, change a few strings, you know, and then before you know it, a couple weeks go by and 
It's like riding a bike. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it just takes some time to get into it, but once you guys get the group going, it just kind of follows. Exactly. Huh? I mean, it's about the music. You know, yeah. More than anything. Exactly. Being out here for the fans and just having them show their support. So. Like I mentioned to you guys too, we have what's called the BSC box. We've had fans like us on Facebook. You guys can find Backstage Entertainment and get your questions in here. We have a new batch of questions now. We've been using the box for a while and we went to the fans and got some new questions. We'll have you guys each draw one and they do range from crazy to real serious. So let's see what we get. It's too many words already. I see that one. That was a long one. If you trashed a hotel room and could sign in as any other musician, who would it be? So you got Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. There you go. I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in a trash hotel room and you wanted to put under somebody else's name, who should be? Who's your favorite dancer? Elton John. Elton John. So we got Lady Gaga and Elton John. It's who you guys would trash it and then just put it under their bill. Right. All right, what do we got? Okay. Oh, ask someone in the interview a would you rather question. You guys know what those Yeah, yeah. Would okay. you rather have us all like have a completely flawless fucking on fire performance or have let's see get head from Amelia Earhart. <laughs> completely flawless head from Amelia Head. <laughs> good answer. That is a good one. That is a good one. All right, well, guys, um, American Head Charge, where do you guys want the fans to go to check you guys out? The main hub for you guys. Headcharge.com is the website, and, you know, uh, American Head Charge official. Okay. All okay. right, what's your phone number? Yep, let's, let's give that out. <laughs> <laughs> and as we're getting any last words from Vinny? Vinny. You're going to eat the mic in the meeting? Is that an ice cream cone? No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> nope. awesome. All right. That was, by the way, the best answer you're going to get on any of these <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Well, guys, again, American Head Charge, definitely go check them out. Check out the Head to Head Tour this summer coming, and hopefully uh, to an area near you. <coughs> near you, guys. Check it out. Hey, everyone. Make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.